Hi everyone, with everyone's GCSE and IGCSE biology exams this Friday, I thought this would be the perfect time to do a quick five questions video covering as much of the spec as possible. Remember to utilize these videos fully. If you want to listen to my question, press pause, write down your answer or decide what you would have written in the exam in your head and then press play to hear my version of the perfect answer. Remember, if you like these sorts of answers, you can find them in my perfect answer revision guides available on the website. Anyway, let's crack on. What is a prokaryotic organism? An organism which does not contain membrane bound organelles, i.e. no distinct nuclei. So really we're looking at bacteria. Describe the structure of a virus particle. Well, it consists of a protein coat surrounding either DNA or RNA. Why are viruses considered to be non-living? It's because they do not do any of the following which constitutes a living organism. So remember the mnemonic, Mrs. H. Gren. So you would simply point out, they do not respire, they do not excrete, they do not have nutrition, they do not maintain their internal conditions, which remember is what H stands for, H stands for homeostasis. So just to run through what Mrs. H. Gren stands for, M is movement, R is respiration, S is sensitivity, H is homeostasis, G is growth, R is reproduction, E is excretion, and N is nutrition. What is emphysema? Well, remember, it's a disease of the lungs caused by cigarette smoke. The alveolar walls break down, which decreases the surface area to volume ratio of the alveoli, meaning that less gas exchange takes place. What is scurvy and how is it caused? Scurvy is caused by lack of vitamin C. It's when your mouth starts bleeding because your cells in your mouth aren't stuck together properly. Define peristalsis. It's a wave of muscular contraction of both circular and longitudinal muscles which help force the bolus of food along both the esophagus and the small intestine. Describe the role of the liver in digestion. Well, remember the liver produces bile. Bile is released into the small intestine where it emulsifies fats which means it increases their surface area and it also neutralizes stomach acid. What is the role of the cornea? The cornea refracts light. Describe the flow of blood around the body, including its movements through the heart. Doesn't matter where you start, let's start with the lungs. So oxygenated blood flows out of the lungs into the pulmonary vein, where it flows into the left atrium. The left atrium contracts, forcing blood into the left ventricle. The left ventricle contracts, forcing blood out of the aorta, which remember is the main artery in the body. That oxygenated blood is delivered around the body, helping out respiring cells. The blood gradually becomes deoxygenated and at this point enters the venous system. So it will enter the vena cava before returning to the heart into the right atrium. The right atrium contracts, forcing blood into the right ventricle. The right ventricle contracts, forcing blood out of the heart into the pulmonary artery where it returns to the lungs for oxygenation. Define osmosis. This is the net movement of water molecules from an area of high water potential to an area of low water potential across a partially permeable membrane. Remember, it's a passive process which doesn't require ATP. Don't worry if you have to use the words water concentration instead of water potential. That's also fine for some exam boards. What is pollination? Well, it's the transfer of pollen from the anther to the stigma. How are wind pollinated flowers adapted? Well, remember they have both exposed anther and stigma. The stigma is feathery, which means it's more able to catch the pollen. The pollen is lightweight and small, so it's easily airborne. What is the role of nitrates? They're used to make amino acids, which can later be used to produce proteins. Describe the effects of the hormone adrenaline on the body. Well, remember adrenaline is the flight or fight hormone. This means that it does everything it can to prepare you to either run away or fight. So your pupils dilate to allow more light to enter your eyes so you can see better. Your hair or fur stands up on end, less relevant for us as humans, more relevant for cats and dogs. And that makes you appear larger and more scary. Your blood is redirected away from your digestive system to your extremities to provide your muscles with more oxygenated blood. Coupled with that, your heart rate and breathing rates increase in order to deliver more oxygen to the body and deliver it around the body faster. What is the role of the enzyme amylase? Amylase causes the digestion of starch into maltose. Define enzyme. 
An enzyme is a biological catalyst which speeds up the rate of reaction without being used up. They are made out of protein. If you like this video, make sure you comment below, give it a like, subscribe to my channel, and I will try and whack out another video before the exam on Friday, so make sure you comment.